Cooper's Animal Health is proud to provide reliable Revolor implants to your operation. The most important part of any implant program is to make sure that implants are administered safely, accurately and effectively. Here's how to use Revolor implants. Make sure your crew is prepared to implant cattle. Animal care, handling, precision and sanitation are important factors to consider. Continually communicating with the stock crew working the cattle will minimise errors and assist in decreasing stress levels in the animal. You will need an implanting tool, enough implant cartridges for all the animals you plan to work, a plastic container with a sealing lid, a brush or scraper to remove debris, a chlorhexidine based disinfectant and a clean wipe to dry the ear after the disinfectant is applied. A successful implant process is a clean implant process. Prior to starting, be sure to clean your hands and all of your tools, including any needles, implanting guns, trays, buckets, sponges or rollers you may use. Implants must be kept clean and protected from dust, dirt and manure. Leave the cartridges in the sealed packet as long as possible before opening to reduce contamination. Consider an airtight plastic container to hold open cartridges during implanting. Always use a sharp needle for implanting. If the needle dulls, replace it immediately. Before implanting, it is important to prepare the ear. When a steer enters the head bale, brush or scrape the ear to clean it. Disinfect the top side of the ear with the chlorhexidine solution and dry completely. Now that you've prepared the implant and the ear, locate the implant site. To identify the proper location, look at the back of the ear and mentally divide it into three sections. The implant should be inserted in the center section on the back of the ear. The needle insertion point should not be within a finger width of the previous implant or tag. Be sure to avoid existing implants, ear tags or damaged ears. If there is no available location, go to the other ear. After you have identified the right location, you are ready to place the implant. The implant should be placed parallel to the length of the ear between the skin of the ear and the cartilage. Now, to place an implant, insert the needle fully between the skin of the ear and the cartilage. Slowly squeeze the trigger to discharge the implant. Be prepared to allow for the implant tool to push itself away from the insertion point. Feel the implant site with your thumb to check for proper placement between the skin and the cartilage. Pinching the incision site can help it seal. Implanted cattle must be identified as having received an implant by use of a triangular ear punch in the opposite ear. Remember to keep the needle clean and disinfect the needle after each animal using a roller or sponge treated with chlorhexidine disinfectant solution. It is possible that the needle may skip or slide over the surface of the skin during the process. If this happens, Thoroughly disinfect the needle before continuing. Replace the disinfectant solution if it becomes cloudy and always start with fresh solution before you begin processing the next pen of cattle. Remember that being prepared with the proper tools and excellent hygiene practices are crucial to the success of the implanting process. Reviewing the steps of proper implantation often and always before you implant a pen of cattle will help to ensure the procedure will be done with precision.